Hello everybody, how are you going? Welcome back to Bloom Star Defense 6, where I want to be seeing can you beat a watery track using only watery towers? Now I've got water in all of its forms as well, being ice, being the floating, and also being the swimming, being the top path of the beast handler. So I think just to start out, it probably makes sense just to be going full range with the buccaneer. I'd just like to be including the top bit, so that shall do me nicely. Hey, but there we go. A couple of balloons are starting to sneak through, so I'm just going to be adding a nice sub to the start here just to be helping everybody out. And then I think I just need to be quite varied between the ice and the beast handler and everyone. They should work quite well, I think, as a team, especially just using the islands and using as much water as possible. Of course, using the monkey subs, advanced intel just to be seeing the entire map. So I'm not too sure what I want to be prioritizing. I mean, I guess actually I do. I was thinking I didn't have any banana farmers, but I do have merchant man and the entire bottom path here. So ooh, that would be be very very nice if I am looking at trying to go as high as possible here. Jeez I'd forgotten how expensive the merchant man was. I expected it to be I don't know more in line with what a cannon ship would be not two and a half grand. I mean I guess it is a banana farm that attacks in some ways but that's just taken me by surprise. Now I've just gone ahead and got submergent support for that guy but I don't know if it would have been better to put him up the top and get one just so they can see it earlier. I mean I guess I can always add to it but uh, it's just always tearing me in half going what is going to be best. Oh, I have just had another one go through so I still need more. I mean I guess I could get double shot why not and then maybe just look at getting some beast handlers up the start here if nothing else just for some more variety I can just merge these guys and make it a, a decent piranha no I don't want to merge to you I want to merge this guy oh there we go merge and merge where why can't I merge well, both of you get merged to there, and then you, sir, move to the front. Monkey pirates, so I can rip them out of the sky as soon as possible. And then I'm also just going to keep on getting these beast handlers, as they are just so, so, so good. Just, there we go. A great white can rip everything out of the sky. I might even just put it on strong. Oh, an orca would be lovely, as it's just so, so, so powerful. But then who else do I need? I mean, I guess I don't have any ice towers yet, so maybe I'll just chuck a couple down in the middle here. Surely I can fit two on this island. Come on. Oh, I saw it for a second there. But even though I did have a bit of a hiccup at the start here, the money is certainly starting to roll in now. I guess I'll just add another guy at the front here it's just so there's even more coverage for the airburst starts i'll just go all the way up to oh i can't get favorite trades right away but i'm burning about a thousand dollars from these guys around so i should be able to get it pretty soon i just have to make sure that i don't get too greedy i will also make sure that i guess i put hot shot at the start here just so they can help out and then now with those three that should put me in pretty good stead just to be trying to get an orca because i know how much i want the orca because it can just rip people out of the sky even almost more than a pirate lord can because it's just constant there we go now that i've got that orca especially considering it's strong I will have no dramas in that regard so I will put another great white and another great white and I guess another great white and that should make it plenty powerful 43 out of 64 that will be very very nice to be having now who else do I want to be getting I guess I could get some armor piecing darts or maybe just start saving up for a pirate lord as I know how good that truly will be well look I didn't exactly do what I just said I was going to do but that's fine the sub was definitely going to be needed and then also the ice monkeys in the middle why not I'm also thinking that I might just go ahead and get another merchant man because I'm liking what they're putting down so to say so i'll get you all the way up to merchant man uh grape shot hot shot why not Ooh, can't afford it now i can and then now with four of them as long as i don't get sidetracked i should be able to go up easily to 28 grand like i said though look at that orca just going crazy just ripping those bfbs out of the sky it's just that simple and it's not even max power and it's not even a megalodon or anything like that and yes it's not the cheapest tower in the world but just its ability like i said just to constantly basically have the grappling hook it's so 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 good and just like that i've realized that i'm basically now able to afford the pirate lord as well so as soon as this round finishes I should be good. Uh, well, even before the round finishes, just like that, Pirate Lord, go do your worst. Wow, six grand. Okay, then. Well, just like that, that is round 80 being absolutely destroyed. And so I guess I could just tick the box of beating it on hard. And now I just want to see, like I said, how high can I go? But speaking of, I now have 34 grand. And I think that a trade empire is definitely going to be good for me. So I'm just going to put it on, the, I guess, the first guy. Why not? Trade empire it is. It should help out drastically because everyone is going to be all over the place. And then now maybe... Do I just keep going all the way up to Trade Empire again? Or sorry, Favoured Trades, just like that. I could get another one. Why is that one... Why, why are you like that? Did I just get the middle path for everyone else? Oh, I guess I did. Well, that's all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those DDTs just came absolutely flying at it. And so I think I need a little bit more ballistic missile action just to really be helping myself out here. All the way up on first strike capability, longer range, advanced intel. I can't believe I can't afford it. There we go. Just like that. Especially in situations like this, let me just use all the abilities to make sure that those guys don't go too far. Now having preemptive strike just raining down on all of those guys with the orchid is able to then take a smaller bite. Oh, hello there. Around 100. 
100. Go for an orca. Go, take him down. Go, go, go. Look at him. He's going crazy. Just get him. Take a bigger bite. Oh, I guess I can use abilities and then take everyone else out. But just like that, round 100 was no dramas. I also do love the pop counts of the other guys. Look at this. 4, 100, 800, 700, and then 1.8 million. It really shows you who's been just doing the dirty work. My god. Oh, the carrier flagship is so tempting because then I would have two tier fives of the Monkey Buccaneer, which do work very well together. I guess I could help everyone out by just taking a couple of those out, but I am just trying to save up with this Megalodon, but it's just, what, another $20,000 away? I don't know if I can afford that, especially looking at what I'm seeing here. That's a lot of reinforced. Yeah, they're just going to go, yeah, oh, yeah, they just went straight through. What can I do with 26 grand? I mean, I could get a carrier flagship. I guess I will. I might as well try it. And then, wait, a Navarc with the Seas? Do I, oh, I do already have all... I was going, hang on a second. Oh, that would then have two. No, I've got all three. I, I could get it if I had the kind of cash. I don't have the kind of cash, but man, just like that, I could get a Paragon a Monkey Buccaneer. It won't be happening, though, sadly. It's just too far away with only a few of these guys on the screen. To be fair, though, that Navarc on the Seas did make a big difference. That was way, way, way easier. Come on, if I can basically leave to survive this round, I should be able to get the Megalodon, which should make a big, big difference. Oh, I'm only 500 away. Come on, just let me have it. Megalodon, there we go. Just take down all the big balloons it just goes crazy i can't even see it because there's not a big enough balloon for it to take any time it just rips everything out of the sky already back up to five grand of which i'm going to be spending on the plutonium reactor because i just want this guy to be going even faster but man that megalodon is going to just get some work it already already had three million and now it's just going to continue on from there I can't even see what's going on here. I'm trying to place down a couple more beast handlers because I realize that the Megalodon isn't fully max powered. Is that ever going to work? No, let me just try and get rid of a couple of you. This, what even round is it? 120. No wonder it's going absolutely ballistic, but here we go. Let me just get you all the way up to as high as I can and then merge you with this guy just to even give him a little bit more as oh, 108. That would be lovely. There we go. Plus another 8, 116. I just need, I guess, one more, which I, oh, I can put it right here. Lovely. Just like this. I can then merge with you and have a max megalodon in me moments here come on i just need another eight which means i just need another 10 grand just like oh what i was just about to be clicking it look i was only 300 away damn you okay let me just continue on again and just see if i can get this and let me just no 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 what the what what happened there is that literally off the start they come out that fast no way no way they come out this fast let me just use the abilities just to make sure that everyone focuses on it holy moly holy moly all right well that's not what I expected. There's nothing that spending another $1,000 or $10,000 on an orca would do for me there. So what do I need? Maybe I need a couple of ice monkeys up the back here or maybe a, a destroyer up the back here. I'm just trying to think about what would actually work in that situation. Maybe a destroyer and an ice monkey just to be going crazy. A little bit of ice shards and enhanced freeze, deep freeze with a bit of... Ah, uh, probably destroy a hotshot. That's the best thing I can imagine there. That should be enough. I mean, it's a decent amount of money there. Embrittlement just to be making sure of it. But my goodness, those guys come out of absolutely nowhere. Surely, surely. Wow. What else would do it? Maybe two destroyers? I don't know if I can afford that. Oh, I should be able to. There we go. It's not that much money left. I can chuck down the ice tower just to be sure. Uh, it doesn't really do anything at that rate, but geez, that's quite surprising. Let's just see how fast they come up. Maybe if I hit them a bit earlier, once they're all grouped together. No, they're still there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, man. I don't know if I can actually beat this round. I mean, I guess I could... I guess I could sell people, but then I don't know what I would buy. As I've got everything covered. I've got the Megalodon, for goodness sake, with 5.4 million pops. I've got Pirate Lords. I've got everyone else in here. And I don't know what else I could do. Maybe do I have to hit them, like I said, earlier? These guys are kind of in here, though. Actually, that's what it is. I need people at the end here so people can continue to actually fire upon it. So I use the abilities nice and early. And what? That's crazy. How are they still getting through that? Or honestly, how can I possibly not make them go through? I don't, I don't know if I can. Like I said, I could start selling things, but I really don't see what I would buy that I don't already have that would make any difference. I mean, I've, I don't have a Paragon, but I can't afford one. I mean, I guess I could try unsubmerging you and then doing the same thing I just did. As It's just, it's so close. It's only a couple of ceramics. I can't believe only a couple of ceramics is what's ending me. It's not like it's a whole DDT getting through. Actually, maybe more of a cannon ship monkey pirate situation would be better. Oh, that might be the difference that I needed. Cannon ship, there we go. Let's just see if a cannon ship can take out ceramics better. I believe it can. We'll just have to make sure that it can. There we go, they're getting taken out. Oh, they are. 
No, they're not. It's just, they're so powerful. They just blast straight through. And I really don't know what I would do in that situation. Maybe also just holding off on using my abilities, but I just don't see how anything I do here is going to be working. Nah, look at that. They're all, nah, they're just going straight through. Nah, I really don't see how this is possible in this configuration. And so I'm sure that someone can do it, but I think around 122 is my max. With the path that I've gone down, 122 on a watery tower, that just has to be it.